Hi, hopefully you can hear me. It's really windy. Um, I wanted to talk about cel my celibacy and I don't talk about it much because like, it's a little awkward to talk about sexuality and stuff, but that's why I'm doing it. So anyway, um, I'm leaning over. Okay, that's better. So windy tonight. All right, I'm shifting topics. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, at times I've mentioned it before. This is like <laughs> almost ten years ago, and I have fell on, slipped up, and fell on a dick once in that time. Um, yeah, and that was horrible. Like I was, it was horrible. It was just like a one night thing, but whatever and it's like in combat mode or something and the guy wanted me to strangle him and and then he's and fucking and he's talking about drinking bleach and shit the next like and I was like fuck this is fucked up shit and I saw him like um you know the next day evening because he was around where I was around at the time and it was so awkward for me, like, I was like, get back, devil man, get back. <laughs> I don't know, but he was like, I think a lot of, um, something, like, came out in me that, I don't know, he went to a dark place for a while, I could see it, and, yeah, it wasn't good, but other than that, Yes, and I have been, and it's been great. Like, I've, I've wanted to work on me, <coughs> on me, and not be too absorbed into someone else. You know, I have to focus on myself. And, yeah, other times, like, it's been met by men, like, ooh, challenge. And then also, oh, my God, she's going to turn all women against cock. <laughs> <laughs> something like that you know it's like fuck you abomination how dare you it's like no this is my fucking personal choice I'm enjoying it and and that's it like I'm not gonna turn all women against cock this is this is like a lot of years ago I remember some other Facebook like platform I can't remember what yeah I can but I'm not saying and Yeah, yeah, before that as well for a few years, um, but I slipped and fell on cough. <laughs> so, um, what else about it? Yeah, that's probably it. Like, it's not, like, I could definitely, um, fuck anyone if I wanted to, but it's just too much of a head fuck. You know, this is serious shit to me. My life is as uh, fucking contradictory as that sounds as usual. But, like, I like the extremes, so. My mum, right, <sighs> my adopted mum. I've been thinking about her a lot lately. Oh, man, I forgot her birthday. Oh, well, she understands. Um... Shit, that, that would have been, what, a couple of days ago? Oh, my God. Yeah. Um. Fuck, I just forgot what I was talking about. So I was going to say something about her. <sighs> Missy, Mum. Thank you. She's always with me. Um, Dad, when he passed away in 2010, he was, um, he was 80, but like he had dementia and stuff. And not to mean, he had dementia. It was, it was more like um, motor neurone disease. Like his body sort of seized up and his mind seized up. He couldn't, 
couldn't remember people and stuff. He never forgot me though. Um, and during that, like he'd have these moments of real clarity where he'd remember back to when he was four years old and tell me things he'd never told me before. And Yeah, um, he, after he died, um, he visited me a lot, you know, and he didn't realize he'd passed away. And it was beautiful, like he'd visit me and it's not weird, but he, he appeared to me naked the morning after he passed. I was lying on my couch, like just really not in a, like I was half asleep, but just grieving something shocking. and. He appeared and he was naked and, and he was just patting my head. But like, so what if you're naked? It's not like, it's not like a sin to be naked. Um, like I'd helped him shower and stuff, so. Oh, Mr. Winky's saying hello. You can't see him, but you can hear him because he's a squawker. He's a Bengal and he's like, Meow. Yeah, that's right. Okay, this is too long. I forgot what I was on about. It's getting depressing on you. Oh no, don't do that. Don't trigger people. Don't speak. Don't do anything. 